How? 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 How do people do that? This was a mistake. Hello everyone and welcome to an extra midweek video. And this is because Sarah left me this comment here, saying that she thought bearded cross stitch would do my nut in. And you're probably right, Sarah, but I think, I think I'm gonna challenge myself. I think I'm gonna give it a go. And I have done cross stitching years ago, so I know what I'm doing. So it shouldn't be that hard, should it? It, sh it should be fine. I, I, I feel like I'm gonna master it. I think this might be one of the times where a textile craft doesn't beat us. I beat it. I beat it. Okay, so this is the little kit that I bought from a site called SoInspiring.co.uk And the beaded cross stitch one that I bought is called Two Happiness Bead Embroidery Kit Beadwork Kit VDVTN1006 Not sure whether them letters and numbers mean anything to anyone, but that's what it's called. And this little kit cost me 15 pounds and 25 pence, which I don't think is too bad for a little kit actually. Two Happiness is a detailed bead embroidery with a flower shaped mandala in rich colors stitched in beads against a printed pattern background. The design uses simple half cross stitch with one speciality bead and thread used to stitch all colors. An, uh, an uncomplicated and rewarding process to stitch gorgeous textured beads into expertly pre-printed fabric with easy guide to stitch placements covering the entire design subject. So it says that it's an uncomplicated design and an uncomplicated thing to make. And I bought it because I actually just really liked the picture. But now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I might have possibly, just possibly, bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. And now that I'm looking at it close up, I am really, really regretting what I've started. I should have just pretended Sarah's comment didn't exist and then I wouldn't have to do this. But I think you all just wanna see me suffer. So you ask and you shall receive. Okay, so this is how the little kit came and I'm hoping it has instructions. Okay, so it does have instructions. I don't know why I've got a paper picture of it for. Is that normal with a cross stitch kit? I have no idea. I'm also not sure whether I needed one of them embroidery hoops. Or can you just do it like this? I'm sure you can just do it like this, it'll be fine. Oh my God, looking at the beads, they're just... They're so small. I almost, I can't even see them, they're that tiny. Or maybe this is telling us which beads I need for which parts. There's a lot of different languages on this as well. What's YKP? YKP, is that Russian? No, that's not Russian. Is it Egyptian? I don't know. I'm just gonna read the instructions so I know what I'm doing and then we'll, we'll make a start. Okay, well, I've definitely made a mistake buying this. It's talking about a back stitch. I don't know what a back stitch is. I assume it's where you take the stitch and go backwards, but it's been a long time since I've done any cross stitching. Well, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> the, I think the instructions are confusing us actually. I'm just gonna go straight in with it and see what happens. Okay, so we've got some needles. We've got some thread and some tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny beads. They're quite nice actually. It's, it's quite a nice little kit for how much I'll spend 15.25. It's not bad. Like the beads are good quality beads and there's loads of different ones. Like those ones are a little bit more opaque. They're quite nice, aren't they? But there is a lot of them and they are very small. Once I make a start, it should be okay. So I know how to thread a needle and I know how to stitch. I may not be the best at it, but I can do it. And I think the rest is just attaching beads. The eye of this needle is just so small. I can't even see. What's making me determined to do this is because I think the final pattern and the final beaded cross stitch design will just look so nice and it'll just be so satisfying. But I'm already having doubts whether I'll actually complete this. Okay, so I understand what this diagram was for now. So if you look at this one, this one's number 11. And then you would look here, that's number 11. So that's the middle one, so it goes into the center. And I think I'm gonna start with the center because it's the biggest bead, so I know it's gonna be the easiest one to do. So we'll try this and just, we'll see how I get on. Up through, then attach the bead to it, and then you would go back down. I'm not entirely sure where the special techniques on like back stitching and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna do it my way because then at least I know it'll work. And then I just like to tie it in a knot at the back and then I know it's on. People who love cross stitching and do it all the time will be screaming at us right now because I know I'll be doing it wrong and not doing it the right way. But is there a right way to do things, you know? If it works for you, then it works for you. If the bead sticks on, then the bead sticks on. See, it's on. 
See, look at that. I've done one, I've stitched a bead on. I don't know whether you can see the little circles that are so close to that big bead, but I have to stitch beads that close to it. How? 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 How do people do that? This was a mistake. I'm proper psyching myself out because I know how ridiculously long this is going to take us. The thing is on camera, you might not think this looks quite ambitious or anything like that. But when you look at it up close and you see how intricate everything is, how do people even do this? I think it would take me like a hundred years to complete and I don't think I'm going to live another hundred years. You know what I was just thinking while I was threading this needle? I could easily whip the hot glue gun out and just glue the beads to it. That's a solution. Because if you think about it, why stitch it all on when you can just glue it on? Okay, so I'm gonna try and go for these tiny little clear beads that are close to this big bead. And there's multiple ones this time, so it's gonna be far more difficult. Do people do this for fun? That's like actually a genuine question. Do people, is this, is this a hobby? Do people think, oh, instead of watching a movie or painting a picture, or literally, or just doing anything, or like cleaning the house, they decide, oh, I'm gonna do some beaded cross stitch. So I've got one on. What you could even do, if you wanted to skip a step, is put all the beads on like a chain and then just stitch them on instead of stitching them all on individually. But because I'm taking this seriously, I'm gonna stitch them all on individually. I feel like if you completed this, by the end of it, you would literally go blind. This is the second one going on. Actually, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Like that just went on perfectly nice. It's taken me about 20 minutes to attach four beads. So if you take into account how many hundreds of beads there are actually on here, I don't know, someone do the maths. How long would it take us? before I went insane. I'm assuming expert cross stitchers will love this. They'll just think it's a walk in the park. But for an amateur like me, it's very intimidating. I do like how it's all printed onto here though. It makes it a lot easier because you know where you actually have to stitch. And I think a back stitch, what I was talking about before is where you literally go through the same stitch you've just made. It's just incredibly fiddly. Oh, also, since we're having a little bit of therapy time with this cross stitch, I thought I would give you what I think will be the final redundancy update. So I can't really remember where I left off last time. I think I've just had my second meeting, but this time I've had my third meeting and I've had my fourth meeting. And I've also had a job interview. So a lot's gone on. Like it's been very busy, very chaotic. And the meetings kind of went all right. They went basically how I thought they were gonna go. And the job interview went well, it went all right. And I got that job, so that was good. So I'm starting a new role, basically in the same place I work now and just doing something different. It's kind of worked out, it's still not it's still not perfect and it's still not what I wanted, but it's better than nothing. And I'm just less stressed over everything now. I don't know whether anyone's noticed the past few weeks I've been incredibly just stressed and pretty much upset about everything. Not just that, just like, you know when like a lot of things just pile up on top of you and it just gets to you. But I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling just a little bit okay. This cross stitch isn't helping, but generally in my life I'm feeling fine. And that's a huge thing when it comes to me. I am making massive progress on this. I can't believe it. I think it would help if I had one of them embroider's hoops just to keep it a bit more stable. But other than that, I think I'm doing all right. And I will say it's quite addictive. I don't know whether you've watched the diamond painting one I did and obviously that took forever that took such a long time to do I'll go get you it one sec so I did complete the entire diamond painting every bit of it is gemmed and it took absolutely ages but it was incredibly addictive and that's why I ended up finishing it. Otherwise I'd have just given up. And I feel like that's the same case with this cross stitch thing. It's incredibly addictive because I want to see the finished pattern. I want to see the outcome, but I also know it's just going to take us weeks to do. It's going to take us such a long time. And I'm debating whether I have time to finish it because I've got a lot of other videos to record and I'm starting a new job and all of that kind of stuff. So I don't think a beaded cross stitch was the right time to come into my life. It needed to wait a little longer, but I'm just I'm just gonna finish this one row just so I can get a feeling of it and then I'll let you know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so unfortunately I think it's beaten us. <laughs> 
I think I'm done. So I got one big bead and two rows completed. I would love to finish the entire thing and I wish I could finish the entire thing, but I just, I just, I, c I just don't have time. I really don't have time. But Sarah did say this would do my nut in and surprisingly it didn't actually do my nut in. I quite enjoyed it. I just, I just don't have enough free time to do it. So what are my overall thoughts on this specific craft kit and beaded cross stitch as a whole? I would have to give it four mandalas out of five because I think it is quite a nice little craft thing. I think if you're already an expert at cross stitching this would just be super super easy for you and it's definitely not as hard as what I thought it was going to be but it is as intricate as I thought it was going to be and I think if you did finish this you would just be so proud of yourself and so satisfied I'm leaving very unsatisfied but definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of this kit if you enjoyed this week's extra video and the fact that I did really try then make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any craft kits or craft ideas or anything like that you want to see me attempt on the channel then feel free to let me know in the comments. If it's something like this, I might not get it completed. I would say to you that in my free time, I am going to try and do this, but I'm not going to. I'll, I'll be lying to you. But anyway, I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video.